Let's journey into the world of bees. Bees are one of the most important creatures on our planet. They are essential for biodiversity and ecosystem stability. Bees have extraordinary adaptations and behaviors that have fascinated scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. From the social structures in hive-dwelling bees to the solitary life of others, Bees not only pollinate countless flowering plants, but also make honey and other useful products. Understanding the complexities of bee biology, behavior, and conservation efforts is important for global food security and ecosystem health. This video explores the fascinating world of bees, highlighting their biodiversity, role in the ecosystem, threats, and ongoing conservation efforts to preserve these vital pollinators. We'll explore where bees come from, different bee species, how they live, and why they are so important to our planet. Stick around because this video is buzzing with bee facts. Where do bees come from? Bees have been around for millions of years. They are believed to have originated from wasps in the tropics and then spread to every continent except Antarctica. Bees have adapted to a wide range of environments from tropical forests to arid deserts. Today, bees can be found all over the world. There are over 20,000 known species of bees, each with unique characteristics and behaviors. Some of the most well-known species include honeybees and bumblebees. Honeybees are famous for producing honey, while bumblebees are known for their large, fuzzy bodies and impressive pollinating abilities. Mason bees are solitary bees known for their ability to build nests using mud or other natural materials. Carpenter bees make their nests in wood where they create tunnels and chambers for their eggs. While they may tunnel into wood, they typically prefer unpainted or weathered surfaces and rarely cause significant damage to structures. A leafcutter bee is known for its distinctive behavior of cutting circular pieces from leaves. These bees do not eat the leaf pieces, but instead use them to line and seal their nest chambers. Orchid bees are known for their stunning iridescent colors, with some species even sporting metallic shades of blue, green, or purple. They are primarily found in tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas. Wallace's giant bee is a large resin bee found in Indonesia. With a wingspan of 63.5 millimeters, it is the largest known living bee species. The world's largest bee was thought to be extinct until rediscovered in Indonesia in 1981. It remains rare and threatened by habitat destruction. Bees can be broadly classified into solitary and hive bees. Solitary bees, like mason bees and leaf gutter bees, live alone and do not form colonies. Each female solitary bee builds her own nest and takes care of her offspring by herself. Hive bees, like honeybees and bumblebees, live in large colonies with complex social structures. Let's dive deeper into the roles within a bee colony. In a bee colony, there are three main types of bees, the queen, the workers, and the drones. The queen is the largest bee in the hive, and her main job is to lay eggs. She can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. Workers are all female and make up the majority of the hive. They have various roles, such as finding food, caring for the young, cleaning the hive, and protecting it from intruders. Drones are male bees whose primary role is to mate with a queen from another hive. They do not collect food or participate in the maintenance of the hive. Not all bees are the same, but they have some distinct body parts. The bee's body is divided into three main parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head houses vital sensory organs, including compound eyes for detecting movement, simple eyes for light intensity, and antenna for smelling and tasting. It also features strong mandibles for biting and manipulating objects. The proboscis is a specialized mouth part that lets bees gather nectar and pollen from flowers. The thorax is the central segment and is equipped with three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings, making bees excellent flyers and agile movers. Each leg is specialized, with the hind legs of some species having pollen baskets for collecting and transporting pollen. The abdomen contains essential internal organs like the heart and stomach. Do you see those stripes on the bee's abdomen? That's where they breathe. Bees do not have lungs. Instead, they have a network of tiny tubes called trachea, which are connected to openings on their body called spiracles. 
Some bees have a honey stomach or crop, which is a specialized organ where they temporarily store the nectar they get from flowers. They use this nectar to make honey. Not all bees have stingers, but the ones that do have their venom sac and stinger in the abdomen. The abdomen also houses glands that produce beeswax, which is vital for building honeycombs. Bees play a crucial role as pollinators. When they collect nectar and pollen from flowers, they inadvertently transfer pollen from one flower to another. This helps plants reproduce. This process is vital for the growth of many fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Without bees, many of the foods we enjoy wouldn't exist. Apples, almonds, blueberries, and pumpkins are just a few examples of crops that rely on bee pollination. For farmers, bees are invaluable. They increase their crops, they improve the quality by ensuring that plants are effectively pollinated. This improves their nutritional value and appearance. Many farmers even rent beehives during the flowering season to maximize pollination and boost their harvests. Bees produce a variety of valuable products. Let's take a look at some of them. Honey is made from nectar. Honey is a sweet, nutritious food used worldwide. Bee bread is a mixture of pollen and nectar. Bee bread is rich in proteins and vitamins and is used to feed the bee larva. Beeswax is produced by worker bees. Beeswax is used to build the honeycomb and has many uses, including candles, cosmetics, and skincare products. Propolis is a resin-like substance bees use to seal gaps in the hive. It has antibacterial properties and is used in health supplements and natural remedies. Royal jelly is a special food that is fed to all bee larvae when they are very young. Future queens are fed royal jelly throughout their development. This allows them to grow larger, live longer, and develop reproductive capabilities, unlike worker bees. As we've learned, bees are very important for the ecosystem. Unfortunately, wild bees are in decline. This is due to various factors, including habitat loss, pesticide use, climate change, and diseases. While farmers are also having trouble with maintaining their honeybee populations, the European honeybee is not as at risk as many other kinds of bees. It is the native wild bees that need the most help. Sometimes introducing more non-native honeybees causes more harm to the native bee populations who then have to compete for food sources. The decline in bee populations around the world is alarming because it threatens global food security and biodiversity. The good news is that there are many ways that we can help the bees. Plant bee-friendly flowers. Find out what the native bees in your area like. Flowers like lavender, sunflower, and wildflowers provide nectar and pollen for bees. Grow a natural lawn. Instead of growing grass for your lawn, try to grow clover or other natural wildflowers instead. Create habitats. Build bee hotels for solitary bees or leaf patches of natural habitat in your garden. Don't rake up your leaves in fall as many bees hibernate under the leaves in winter. Avoid pesticides. Use natural pest control methods to reduce the harm to bees. Support organic farming. Buying organic products encourages farmers to use bee-friendly practices. Spread awareness. Educate others about the importance of bees and how they can help. Educating the next generation about bees is crucial. Encourage your school to include lessons on bees and the importance in the ecosystem. Bees are truly amazing creatures that play a vital role in our world. Yet despite their critical importance, bees face unprecedented challenges in the modern world, including habitat loss, pesticide exposure, and climate change-induced pressures, leading to population declines and endangerment of several species. By understanding and supporting them, we can help to ensure a healthy, vibrant planet for generations to come. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like some educational resources, click the link in the description for more resources. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to make mistakes, get messy, and keep learning. Bye!